Now at six, we are now hearing from the woman uh, for the first time that, that she was awarded a $20 million judgment. It's part of a larger award of a New Jersey court that gave survivors of that fireball ride that broke apart seven years ago at the Ohio State Fair. Now we first told you about the judgment yesterday on 10 TV News at six and tonight Kaziah tells 10 TV's Angela Ann why she feels justice is finally served even if she doesn't see a dime of that money. Kaziah Lewis is living a life she almost lost. Like I'm going to music festivals and I went on a cruise and went out of the country and I feel like I'm just knocking off things off my bucket list and healing my inner child slowly. She's come a long way since this. In 2017, one arm of this spinning, swinging fireball ride broke off, flinging her and her boyfriend into the air. Several others, too. Tyler Gerald was killed, and Lewis broke her pelvis, ankle, ribs, and much more. It was wild. Before the accident, I'd never broken a bone, like, ever. I'll still have to be dealing with this, like, years in advance. Like, no amount of money could possibly make my body whole again. All right or give me okay. back the years that I lost trying to get back to where I am, or even bring back Tyler. What Lewis said she wants now is to see the Dutch company KMG, which made the fireball, change how it manufactures all of its rides. I actually went and um, I visited their website last night um, in the midst of all this, and it, the rides, they scare me because like I, they look really similar and it makes me wonder just how many more could potentially have similar issues with them or things that are just being overlooked. KMG could still appeal the judgment that granted a total $78 million to Lewis, the Gerald Estate and two other survivors. Collecting that money will be a challenge. At this point, with how long and drawn out it is, I would almost just accept like a heartfelt apology. Kaziah, who was told she never would walk again, considers herself similar to a phoenix rising from the ashes. She is ever determined to shine and push forward. And I feel like now I'm starting to create like a version of myself that doesn't center around the accident. Talk about a brave woman. We know Tyler's mom will visit the state fair on the first day, as she's done since 2017, to honor and remember her son. Kaziah, though, says she doesn't think she'll ever be able to go back there again. So certainly still very emotional now, even right. seven mm -hmm. years later. I just, I just remember the night it happened. It was yeah. ho horrifying, yeah. absolutely horrifying. Angela, with the fair starting in about two weeks, have you heard yet from the state fair about whether KMG will be operating rides there at the fair this year? It's a big question. A lot of families are wondering too, right? Because they're all over the country and internationally. We are working to learn if they will be there this year, but we can tell you that we've confirmed no rides made by KMG were at the state fair last year so mm. we'll keep you posted but today we heard from the Ohio Department of Agriculture which oversees the fair and they said before Tyler's law which mandated more inspections the fair had only eight inspectors they've now increased that to 11. We do have a link on 10 tv.com on how many times the state fair is required to take a look at all of these rides as part of Tyler's law. I also asked Kaziah if she'll ever go on any thrill rides again she said not a chance. Mm -hmm. She did go on a Ferris wheel, but they said that one was slow and, you know, and Never closed. left the ground, But really, she yeah. was like, I oh, wait, am not. Ferris wheel does. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's her feet were on, the, you know, on something. Yeah. So wow. she said no more thrill rides. That's brave of her because, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oof. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Angela. Thank you.